Hey everyone, Casey Dimon here. We're talking about tax sales in the state of Missouri. Now, Missouri is predominantly a tax lien state. If you're unfamiliar with this process, what happens is that once the taxes fall delinquent, the county will sell a lien against the property. So it's a sell of a lien, not of a deed. You're basically buying an interest earning lien against the property and you're not buying the actual property itself. Now, Missouri holds all of their tax lien auctions in August and they use what is called an overbid system. That means that the bidder who will pay the most amount of money for the rights to collect on that lien will become the winner of the lien. In an overbid state, the winning bidder will generally be required to pay more than the face value of that lien in order to be able to purchase it at the auction. In Missouri, the investor receives interest on the amount of the taxes and the fees that are due only. They do not receive any interest on that overbid amount. Now, most properties will have a one year redemption period. If the property is redeemed during this time, the investor will earn an interest rate of 10% per year. If the lien is not redeemed, they can take ownership of the property after they file the paperwork and all that good stuff we're about to discuss. Now, if the lien is redeemed, that overbid amount we discussed will be returned back to the investor. If it's not redeemed, that overbid amount will go to the county or it will go to excess proceeds. In Missouri, after lien has gone unpaid, you must file what is known as a collector's deed to start the acquisition process. To do this, you must have paid all the subsequent taxes that were due for the years after the tax lien was attached to that property. Additionally, you must have a title search performed and send notices within a set time period to all interested parties. After certain requirements are met and proven to have been met to the collector's office, you can be, then begin the process of receiving that collector's deed. It is extremely important here to understand that Missouri law is very, very cloudy when it comes to tax foreclosures and whether or not other liens are extinguished and what conditions must be met. It is strongly encouraged that you hire an attorney to discuss this with you if you plan on investing in Missouri liens before you do so, especially, especially prior to your first purchases. The exception to everything discussed up to this point is the city of St. Louis and Jackson County. These two areas are actually the only areas in the state that conduct tax deed sales instead of tax lien sales. Now, regardless of where you're investing in the state of Missouri, my suggestion again is to visit the tax collector's website to learn about their process to get the, all the auction location information and to look over all of the auction list and to learn how they do stuff. To read about the tax lien laws in the state of Missouri, head on over to Google and search Missouri Generally Assemble Chapter 140. Hope you've enjoyed this video on the breakdown of Missouri's tax sell laws. To read more about other states, head on over to taxsellacademy.com and click on the state guide. Have a wonderful day, folks. Bye-bye.